it's like these gut check moments in a, in a policy. Oh yeah, we think we should do this because that's how it was when I was in school. Without a data-driven policy conversation, it's little more than guesswork based on a bunch of assumptions and anecdotal information that people have had from their histories. Ultimately, those decisions impact students, student learning, um, but also there's a cost to them. You know, we're, we're using uh, public money, and so we want to make sure that we're prudent in those decisions. And I think um, that's the reason for having someone with an analytical skill set and having analysts uh, be able to help us drive those decisions. A strategic data analyst is one part of what is needed for a, a team at the state level and, and frankly at our district level. At the end of the day, you can build the systems and that is all really important work, but if you do not have people who have great capabilities and how to use that data and how to turn it into digestible formats for educators and policymakers, then it, it will just live and die then in that database and not actually inform policy and not actually inform practice. And so that's what the analysts do. They're able to take complex data and turn it into usable formats. So data from four or five different sources and create conclusions from that that we are then able to make to much better informed policy. Understanding the story is the first part, um, but then actually doing something about it is probably the most important part. In the last year uh, specifically we have used a significant amount of data um, regarding the pathway our educators are taking. So for example Who's getting hired? How are they getting hired? How are they being inducted? Are they lasting? Are they growing and improving over years? And we've had a whole data set around that, which much better informs policy. Um, and, and in our case, it specifically informed our passage of Senate Bill 51. When we were passing legislation, Senate Bill 51, there were a lot of questions, um, policy questions about what the GPA um, uh, range, range should be for students entering prep programs. Um, so those, those kind of detailed questions that seem uh, like minutia, but they're really, uh, they impact, they'll impact students eventually. There was critical legislation that was passed around teacher preparation that was really informed by uh, the work, the deep dive that Dot and Ray and the team did uh, around teacher preparation and the fact that uh, we were not preparing folks as well as they could be and frankly the strongest ones weren't necessarily staying as, as long as they should. Our understanding now of what happens with our educators and what happens with our children over time is much more uh, sophisticated than it was just a couple of years ago. And that has allowed us to then capitalize on that effort. And so if you put the data out there, you put it in digestible formats and you have a committed state board, a committed governor, a committed legislature, then you start to make decisions that are in the best interest of kids based on that data.